Hi guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you, but today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and it's something that a lot of you have missed since the days that TJ Harlow um, first kind of like introduced me to a lot of you. Um, and sadly, because of my involvement with Overclock 3D, the, uh, the custom builds have had to kind of take a little bit of a back seat. But recently, one of the forum members on Overclock 3D, uh, Hayley, approached me about making a rig for her, and she's a really uh, she's an awesome forum member, really nice person as well. Now, do you know what I mean? Sometimes when you get some people that look come to you, and they, do you know what I mean? They don't want to spend a lot of money, and they want the world. And pretty much Hayley come to me and said, I want this, I've got this much to spend, can you do it for me? I really liked the ideas behind it and she pretty much left it open to me so it was a no brainer. So yeah, so her, the, her rig at the moment, the main rig, is at the body shop which I'll be making videos for you later on. Um, but while we were getting ready with the main rig, um, she asked me about making her a server so that she's got something do you know what I mean? Somewhere central that she can store everything without any worries. But also, the reason why she, she said she came to me was she said, I just want something that's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I want all new bits, so I've got a warranty and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily just want something which is stock fans and a crappy case and all that kind of stuff. And she had a fairly large budget, as you'll see with the, the bits that I've got um, behind me. So... I'm going to do a fair, going to try and do a fair few videos with this um, with this rig so that you can see. But this is what I would call yes for a home server. It is overkill. There is a lot of money being spent on it. it doesn't have to be like this. You can do it with older bits. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to show you the bits for her rig now. Uh, what's going in there and all that kind of malarkey. And then, uh, as I make other videos, I'll explain, do you know what I mean, what choices you've got, one, you know, things that you need to consider, and we'll do this over the next couple of three weeks. I expect the Hades will be done by next week, but I'm going to try and cram as many, many videos in as possible, and then if I have to, we'll use my own personal server in the videos to finish the rest off. Um, but yeah, uh, Hayley's uh, forum name is Hayley Wow. Um, so, not to be confused with World of Warcraft, we're going to call this the WoW server. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring you in, give you a good look at the bits, and then I'll show you some of the bits out of their boxes and stuff as well. So it's more of a kind of, do you know what I mean, a hardware look video, kind of, do you know what I mean, for all those kind of hardware geeks out there. I'm one of them as well, I love these kind of videos. But yeah, so I'm going to be quiet bring you all in for a good look and you can see what's going to be going in this rig. Right then my lovelies, um, I'm just out of shot here, I am still here, but this is what we've got going in the rig. Um, basically the linchpin of the system is the uh, Core uh, i3-530, same as I've got in mine. Um, I will explain uh, about the parts and why I've chosen them really. Um, in the other videos because I just want this to be about the bits that are going in Hayley's rig and then in the other videos I'll explain you know why you can use this, why you use that and all that kind of stuff. Um, the motherboard that we're going to be using is the P7H57DV EVO. Uh, we've got an NZXT 650W Hale 90 um, power supply this is a gold rated power supply as well, so it's efficient. We've got a 64 gigabyte V plus Kingston solid state drive. G Skill Eco 1.3 volt 1600 MHz memory, 4 gigabyte of that. Noctua NHC12P SE14 cooler. Uh, then uh, the, it's all, the case is going to be a Fractal R3 and that's the Arctic white version, it's one of the newer ones. And then we've got a total of 10 terabytes of uh, Western Digital 2 terabyte drives, uh, it's 5400 um, spin speed. So it's the Caviar Green, so it's the cooler and quieter, it loses out on a bit of speed but once they're in RAID it's not really going to make any difference. So, yeah, we've got five of these. 
Um, what I'm going to do is uh, move this stuff out of the way and then I'm going to show you little close-ups of the components um, one by one just so you can have a good look because the power supply is lovely. I actually use the bigger brother of this, the 850 in my main rig. The Noctua is just sex on a stick anyway and we'll give you a good look on the uh, motherboard and on the case as well. Okay then, power supply. Now, when I first spoke to Hayley about the rig and she said she wanted something, do you know what I mean, that looked nice as well, for me the only choice there really was was a white based rig because it's simple, it's clean, it does its job and it's quite easy to accessorise with now. Now, the NZXT Hale series, they're all white and I use these uh, in the rigs that I gave away at um, I-40. Um, so I knew the quality was good, uh, we've tested them at Overclock 3D and the, the ratings are very very good as well. Um, so I thought it would be a, a brilliant to use the hails in this rig. And to be quite honest with you, not being funny, but I use it, like I said, I use this myself. It's a lovely rig, full white um, casing all the way around, it's got a white fan and just so that it doesn't go too OTT the, yes the uh, cables are still black but you wouldn't want too much um, uh, white in there and at the end of the day if you were going to braid the, uh, the cables white it needs to be done absolutely spot on so it probably would have increased the cost by a considerable amount so I actually think that keeping these black is a much better idea but as you can see there so, I mean, it's a lovely looking power supply, and I'm going to be fitting this with the fan up to keep the logo um, visible. But also, my main reason for doing this is if you fit it with the fan up, you've got no sticker on this side, it's just plain white. If I fit it with the fan down, you can see the sticker. And one thing I'm, I will say is because a lot of people don't understand this, is that a lot of people think that the fan on the power supply blows in, but it doesn't, it blows out. And also, if anyone starts going on to me about how much air does it move and all that kind of stuff, the fan in the power supply is there to cool the power supply. Do not count the fan in the power supply as any part of the cooling for your case. Anyone that does think that, shoot yourself in the foot, go and sit in the corner, you're a naughty boy. So yeah, that's the, uh, the NZXT. Lovely, lovely looking power supply. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I've been moving away a considerable amount from a certain brand lately. And, uh, yeah, I really, really like these. Right, let's move on to the CPU cooler. CPU cooler of choice. Uh, for this rig, the NHC 12P SE14. Uh, I'll bust it open quick, and while I'm opening it, I'll explain why. Um, the i3s really do not create a lot of heat. Um, so you don't need an NHD14. Um, now the NH, well I won't keep saying it over and over again, but this Noctua cooler is uh, a face down design. So it sits facing down in your rig like that. So with the 140mm fan, it's 140mm but with 120mm mounts. So that's nice and quiet. Now with the cooler, where it's face down, basically, that's going to be cooling all the components around the motherboard directly. So without any extra fans, it will help keep the board cool. Um, now when I've tested this in the past with an i3, I was able to get uh, 4 gigahertz and have this loaded at max at less than 60 degrees. So, do you know what I mean? This cooler is stupid overkill for this system, but cool, quiet can't really ask for much more, it's absolutely perfect. So yeah, that was the reason why I decided to use the good old Noctua again. Now I have got a selection of Noctua fans to go in the case as well. Now I've got these NFP12s, but we might stick a, one of the 140s in the roof. Uh, this is just so that we can rip the stock case fans out Keep it with the, uh, Hayley really likes the Noctua colouring and I'm not against it either but we're going to go all Noctua throughout the rig. Um, 
and yeah, so we're going to have cool and quiet throughout. Next thing, motherboard. And the boxes are getting mental over there. What we're going to have is obviously we're going to have the cooler face down, which will help keep the memory and the MOSFETs cool and everything around the socket will help keep it lovely and cool, although it's not really going to be being stressed. Uh, and a strange one with this is where it's integrated, we're not going to have anything in any of the slots below. Uh, this will keep it uh, nice and open, so if at a later date Hayley do you know what I mean, wants to, she can add a RAID card. She won't really need a graphics card because it's not really going to be doing anything graphics based and it'll all be lovely. On the back you've still got USB 3, do you know what I mean, FireWire, eSATA, HDMI, do you know what I mean. So it, yes it is the top of the range board. Uh, and she has paid a little bit more for it, but technically she's going to have uh, a lot more future proof in there. And I actually really like the look of this board because some of the H55 boards can look a bit cheap um, for no other reason than, do you know what I mean? They haven't, you know, spent a lot of time designing them and stuff. So we have paid a little bit extra for this just to make it look a bit nicer. And I really like it. This is actually the board I use in my own system as well. So, last but not least, because we don't need to look at the solid state drive, or we can do, just to keep the Kingston bots happy. Kingston solid state drive, 64 gigabyte. Uh, it's only really going to have the operating system on it, so there's plenty of headroom there for her. Uh, and obviously, where it's a uh, V+, plus, it's over 200 megabits a second transfers between 225 and 250. Um, so that'll keep it nice and nice and snappy for us. There's going to be no lag with this drive at all. So, yeah. Lovely. Right then, the case. Why have I chosen the case? Uh, obviously because it's white and it's lovely and it, do you know what I mean, it ticks all the right boxes, but my main reason was the amount of hard drives that it's got in the front. Obviously we can have the air passing in the front, which, just to show you quickly, is all dust filtered. We'll have the Noctua fans in there, but yeah, it is all dust filtered. And you've also got sound editing foam on the back and air passes through the front, down the sides there. But yeah, it's all dust filtered and it's all in the front. And this is really the way I like to do things. It's either got to be like this or straight in the front. Anyway, obviously it's all white, but it's got great cable management throughout the whole of the case. And don't forget, this isn't a review of the case, this is just me explaining why I'm using it. Big CPU socket cut out. There's uh, two. If you're wondering what the rattling is, it's the side screws for the doors. You've got two fans in the roof which you can fit 140 or 120 millimetre fans to. And pretty much, basically, it's just clean, sleek. It's going to tick all the boxes that we want um, and keep it relatively compact but also looking nice as well. And simple things like the fans have got um, uh, covers over them. So that if you don't use them, no dust can get in or out. It's just, there's lots of little things about this case I like. Uh, something that I'm not too keen on is that this light's going to light up red. So it's not really going to fit with the theme of the case. So I've not had a proper look at this yet, but hopefully I'm going to whip this out and change the LED for us. So it either lights up blue, or probably I'll change it so it lights up white. So... There we have it. There's the bits and bobs for Haley's rig. This is going to be going together over the next few days. Probably going to make a start on it this evening, and uh, I'll be posting back um, with like bits of you know, so you can see the, the um, uh, like the heat sink on the motherboard and stuff like that. So it's not just a now and then kind of video, and show you the bits that I'm doing to it. So yeah, make sure you keep checking back. Uh, and why am still about? Feel lonely. I'm not on the camera. Yeah, I'm still about, and yes, we will be doing lots more with this, and I'm going to uh, um, edit this now and upload it for you all to watch. Tiny Tom Logan, out.